And there were two things going on there. One was they wanted to curse like Shaft did. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't because it was comics. It was for kids. But the other thing was a uh, well-intentioned attempt at making the language real. Um, Archie Goodwin, one of the greatest writers and editors in, in comic book history, uh, worked on Luke Cage early on. And he decided that he would base his Luke Cage on real black detective fiction. And he chose Chester Himes. Hmm. Now, Chester Himes, what a lot of people didn't realize, and certainly what the uh, French, uh, <laughs> what, what, what the, uh, what, what the French people who declared him a genius writing about the raw reality of life in Harlem uh, didn't realize, was that Chester Himes was screwing with people. He made up this cartoon Harlem where he could write black comedy in, in the classic sense, not in the sense of comedies about blacks, but in, in, a, in very dark comedy. Mm. And the language was his little joke. He was making up a sort of ridiculous patois. Some of the people involved in early Luke Cage didn't get the joke, like a lot of people didn't get the joke, although when you call your uh, novel like Blind Man with a Pistol, it's kind of a hint, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but they thought, oh, this is the real deal. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get that language. It's kind of like what I might do if I were gonna write a, a, a story about a Chinese family, like I'll read a bunch of Amy Tan, but if Amy Tan was screwing with me, I wouldn't know, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so that is the, um, that is the secret, rarely told history of Sweet Christmas.